This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who has been following the news and asks, are there any new updates about these novel agents, this new agents that I'm hearing about so much? And actually, uh, in the recent uh, weeks, there have been uh, four important updates about uh, new drugs in development. These updates are with regard to Selenexor, which is a new drug, uh, and the application for approval was submitted to the FDA, and there was a ODAC review committee, which unfortunately, with an eight to five vote, uh, voted against the approval of this new agent, uh, Selenexor, and this uh, was quite a disappointment. However, uh, the company Carrierform has gone back to the FDA and has agreed to submit information about an upcoming trial, the Boston trial, in which the Selenexor is combined with Velcade and dexamethasone. And so if there is uh, no safety issue in this trial, and if this trial does show good treatment benefit, it seems likely that the FDA might reconsider the approval package for uh, Selenexor and might in fact go ahead and give uh, an approval. And they are scheduled to reach a decision on this now by July the 6th, in, pro uh, in contrast to an earlier uh, April uh, deadline that had been set. So. Uh, hopefully, we'll have good news uh, by July 6th concerning uh, Selenexor. The next drug, uh, also good news, uh, the monoclonal antibody daratumumab, uh, a trial was just completed using daratumumab given by subcutaneous injection, sub-Q uh, shot rather than a long intravenous infusion. And what I think is really good news for patients is that this sub-Q shot was well tolerated and produced equal results to the intravenous infusion treatment with daratumumab. And so uh, those results uh, will also be submitted to the FDA and I think uh, will be viewed uh, favorably. And so perhaps even by later this year, there may be an option to have the daratumumab administered by subcutaneous uh, shot rather than long infusions in the clinic. And so great news for patients uh, from, from my perspective, for sure. The third uh, drug update is about a drug called panabinistad with a commercial name of Faradec. And uh, this particular drug uh, was approved uh, back in 2015 uh, and has been uh, available to patients. Uh, the starting company, uh, Novartis, has now uh, sold this company to another uh, biotech uh, company. And so uh, this is really just news about a transition of this drug to a new company uh, who are thinking to uh, perhaps develop uh, some newer dose schedules and uh, some different combination approaches. And so we, we may see some new uh, developments with this transition and sale of the Faraduc compound. And then uh, finally, <laughs> we uh, have some not such good news about the drug called uh, Venetoclax, uh, which is a, a new agent, has been in trial for uh, a couple of years now, uh, a little bit more. Uh, uh, however, uh, the preliminary results of the Bellini trial have been made available. Uh, this is a trial in which uh, venetoclax is combined with Velcade and dexamethasone, and unfortunately there have been uh, a significant number of early toxicities and deaths with this tree drug combination as compared to the Velcade and dexamethasone alone. And so this has actually led it to a halt in the enrollment into this Bellini trial, and so really unfortunate use, news and we will be waiting to hear and try to understand better what is the cause of this unexpected toxicity with the venetoclax Velcade, dexamethasone combination. So hopefully uh, this will be clarified uh, such that uh, trials can move forward, possibly with the addition of preventative antibiotics, which will reduce risks of infection, 
which did seem to be uh, the main concerns in, uh, in this trial that has led to this uh, halting of enrollment uh, for the time being. So mostly very, very good news about new drugs and hopefully uh, this issue related to uh, venetoclax will be clarified soon so that trials can again move forward.